Welcome to the Freakers Ball, y'all. This is Grimnir, and you are, we are live right now at uh, 9.02 p.m. Mountain Time on this Friday, January 25th, 2019. We're live on reallibertymedia.com for the video portion here, or if you want, you go to vaughn.live slash reallibertymedia, and you'll find the video there as well. But you don't have the chat. You have a chat there, but it's not our chat. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, head on over to Real Liberty Media if you're on the audio stream and join on in on the Freakers Ball Show page. But welcome to all the folks out there on uh, the various audio streams, wherever you may be, reallibertyorg freedomsnetwork.com, on the Tuned In page, on the Internet Radio page, on rlmradio.xyz, or uh, maybe you found our, our link on minds.com or on twitter.com. Uh, you know, where we're, we get out there, we're all over the place. I, I hear a ding-a-ling. I hear a ding-a-ling. <laughs> Not that I'm calling Moose Girl a ding-a-ling, of course. You, you, you get. <laughs> hey, Moose. Hey. Yeah, no, I wasn't calling you a ding-a-ling. What? I said I, said I heard a ding-a-ling, but then I said, oh. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you fine. Hello? Yes, do you not hear me? Uh, Moose, Moose. Hello? Moose, girl, I hear you. Hello? I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Hello? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Moose, girl, I don't know what's going on, but you can't hear me. Let me, let me hang up and I'll call you back. That worked last week. Let's try this. I don't know why. Something, something, something weird going on there. I, I, I heard Moose. Hello? Too. Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? She still can't hear me. So, yeah, turn up your sound, Moose. I, I, I don't, I don't get what's going on. I can hear you. You hear me? Yes. Hello? Hello, I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> Well, you're like pausing. I, oh. I can't tell if you're there. What? <laughs> now she hung up again. I don't know what's going on there. All right. All right. Let me try it is. Yeah. I don't know. Let's try and call her again. Let's see, let's see if this works. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. Grim called Moosey a ding -a -ling. Yeah, well, you know, that happens, Vinny. It happens very easily. <laughs> All right, let's see if this happens. Hello. Moose? Hello, Moose. Hello, Moose. Hello. Yes, I hear you. I hear you just fine. I can hear you now. Okay, well, then we can hear each other. Good. I can hear you. I hear you, too. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Is there a delay or something? Uh, I'm, I'm not getting it. Uh, everything well, is... I can hear you. Can you okay. hear me? Okay, so you can hear me. <laughs> I, I, I don't get what's going on here. Maybe there's a delay. I, I, I don't get it. She says she can hear me, but then, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, welcome to the show. It's not like we never have technical problems here. <laughs> they hear us both. Uh, but but I can't. She's and I hear her, but and she says she hears me. But uh, but but there seems, seems to be some frustration going on. I don't know what it is. Moose, moose girl, Jack, 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 Jack. Moose, where'd you go, Moose? Are you there? She disappeared. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Moose. I know you're there. You're still on the call. Hello, hello, hello. All right, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Uh, uh, anyway, so uh, howdy to all the people out there on the audio stream, wherever you may be. Uh, glad to have you all along with us. But the video stream is really where you want to be. Moose Girl hung up again. So uh, I, 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 I don't know what to say. Uh, I don't know what to do on that. She She's out there somewhere. And, and I'm not sure why she's not hearing me. Um, 
blame the Ruskies. All right, Flash. We'll blame the Ruskies. Rob hears us both. So is everybody here us both. But but Moose Carol keeps going away. I, I I don't know. Stop talking at the same time. I'm only here by myself now. So <laughs> anyway, I don't know. She'll call back in a minute. I I, I imagine. I, I I don't really get it. Uh, anyway, so all the folks over here in the RLM chat, the Real Liberty Media chat on irc.freedom.net or via the webpage if that's how you got here. Uh, we got people like Barman and Beetle. Beetle, up on top. And we got myself and the Moose Girl, Miss Kate D.C. in Chalcedony, Chloe, Echelon, and Flash, somebody. Uberzilla, Miss Gramsie. Gramsie, you still awake? And we got Don C. and Meester Brow and Ponder Gander in the Poxified group. And we got Rain in the Fluke Pot and Rob Works. Mr. Romes and Vin E., who got his show done earlier today. Grammy did too, by the way. Both both great shows. Uh, we got the Phantom and Asmo Chu, uh, the Cyborg Noodle, the Noodler, uh, Dakota and Frumpy and Gromit and Java Doctor and Jiggies and Kozu and Moe and Ensign Dubois. Pox, uh, another Pox in the Pone Sauce, the Pone Sauce. And uh, Sock Puppet, you out there? Uh, Skittle in Uno, Uno. <laughs> All right, Moose, I don't, I don't know if you're still out there. Uh, you want me to try and call you back? I guess. Uh, it, it, it looks like you're there. I'm going to try and call her back, see see, see what happens. Uh, it, it says it connected, so let's see if she's there. Are you there? Hello? Hello? Yes? Hello? Yes? I don't know why she can't hear me. Hello? Moose, Moose girl ain't hearing me for some reason. Uh, I don't. I don't quite get it. Hello? I hear you fine. I hear you fine, Moose. I hear you fine. I hear you fine. Let me type this in here. Um, I, I, Hello? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Hello? Yes, you there? Yes? Yes? Hello? I don't, hello? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Something, something going on with your headset. Just talk. I don't know. Yeah, no. I do I'm, I'm, I, uh, yeah, turn your whatever up. I, it's up. It's up, she says. So, uh, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. Something, something goofy. Uh, you can't hear me. I, I hear you fine. It's gotta be something with wire. I hear you just fine. <laughs> yeah. Are you not hearing me, Moose? <laughs> I can hear you on the right on the show. On the show. Can you hear you on the show? <laughs> I don't know what the problem is. There's no problem, apparently. Well, there must be, because you're not hearing me or something. I, 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 you hear me or you don't hear me? You hear me on the show, but you don't hear me on the headset. No, I hear you in the speakers. Oh. Now? Now you hear me fine? Uh, all right. I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, Nothing's uh, changed. Yeah. Except for changing out my keyboard. That's all I did. I don't... I don't, uh, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Um... Huh. Oh, well, I'm just going to reboot. I'll try. I don't know. Okay, she's going to reboot. That's fine. All right, we'll, we'll play some music and wait for her to come back. And uh, I, I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, welcome, everybody, to, to the Freakers Ball. <laughs> Tec Tecto Cluster Fuck. <laughs> oh, man, uh, that's weird. Um I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I've totally lost track of where, where I was going in the beginning due to this uh, whatever. Um, let, me, let me hang up on that because that'll, that'll start doing a thing there. Um, techno fuck. Yes, the Freakers techno fuck. Um, oh, oh, that's right. Uh, next week will be the uh, 
first day of February. And so next week we're going to start our annual donation drive. I've already received some of the uh, the, the, the requests for money uh, from various people, the hosting company and and and, and the domain registrar. And um, so anyway, we'll we'll do that next week. We'll start that next week. Now, if anybody wants to donate ahead of time, feel free. But uh, the, the official donation drive will start next week. Um, I, I don't know that we're going to make uh, the, the minimum limit this year. We've, we've lost some good folks, some good uh, people. Um, you know, Bess Z and, and um, is somebody, somebody messaging me here? No, I, I don't want to test call Vinny, but thank you. Um, I, I'm, uh, everything's fine here. Um, <laughs> but uh, so so we've lost some people that were that were good donators in the past, um, just because you know. Breathe. I'm breathing. Can't you hear me breathing? <laughs> oh, your audience doesn't see when you say, "Did you see that?" What? I'm not. I'm not sure who's. Who, are you talking to me? <laughs> Doesn't know what to think about what he's seeing. I, 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 I'm, I'm. All right. Never mind. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna play some music. How about that? Uh, and we'll come back after that. After the music, and uh, hopefully Moose Girl will be back at that point in time. Um. And uh, everything will be cool. Even though this is a Moose Girl request song I'm starting off with here, uh, maybe this has happened to some of you. some sage advice there from Mr. Joe Bonamassa. Just because you can don't mean you should. <laughs> Before that, we had Gary Hoey uh, off, off of the new one. Uh, they're doing Under the Rug with uh, Eric Gale sitting in on that. So there's some excellent stuff there. Eric Gale, by the way, also has a new one coming out. And uh, that won't be too long. Uh, I, I look forward to that as well. And uh, we kicked it off there with the Moose Girl Request. Dr. Hook doing, I got stoned and I missed it. <laughs> Moose Girl. Hello, hello. Moose Girl. Oh, wait, she was hung up on me. <laughs> right. I didn't realize she hung up on me. Are you there? Hello. Hey. Hello? Can you hear me? I hear you fine. Hello? I hear you fine. <laughs> you can hear me now. I heard you the whole time. Good. Can you hear me? <laughs> well, I know, but it wasn't normal before. Can, can, can you yes. hear You can hear me fine? You can hear me? Hello? Moose. Can you hear me? <laughs> I hear you fine. You're not, Hello? But you're not responding to me. <laughs> Hello? Moose. <laughs> oh, my God. Hello? All right, Moose. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, this, is <laughs> this is crazy. All right. Um. Alright, I'm gonna hang up on you because this ain't working. And uh, I, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll try to try the Skype thing. It's been a while since I've logged in there. I hope it lets me log in. Uh, it's, it's been a long time, you know, uh, doing this 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 Skype thing, and uh, and I don't really like the Skype thing. But hey, you know, all right, Skype, you have been signed out of Skype. Launch the app and then sign back in. Okay. Password? Really? I need to have a password? Oh, I don't know what my password is. Let me see if I got it in my in my, in my thingy here. <laughs> I'll tell you. Oh, baby, where 
is it? Let's let's try this one here. I have a database here with all my passwords and such. So hopefully it's the right one. And we'll we'll, we'll test it out, see if we if it lets me in there. Apparently that's it. Whoa, what is this big ass thing here? I don't, I don't want all that noise in there, nonsense in there. All right, I'm signed in, so uh now I just got to wait for Moose Girl to sign in. All right. Sweet. Pac-Man 420. No, it's not my password. <laughs> I guarantee you. <laughs> All right. So I don't know if she's on here yet. It doesn't show her on here. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I can't really. I don't recall. I don't recall how this all works. This Skype thing. A new Skype is available. Well, that's just fine for you. I'm not really interested. Um... All right, there it is. There's there's the thing. Yeah. Okay, I'll just wait for her to sign in. Um, <laughs> as I was saying earlier, uh, and, and some of you probably heard, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that uh, next week I'm going to start the, uh, what do you call it? Fundraiser. <laughs> the annual fundraiser. So uh, be ready for that. You know, get, get, get up off them wallets. We're going to need We're going to need money to keep this place operating. And uh, uh, and and we appreciate every every little penny that comes our way. Anyway, it's um. What was I going to tell you? I don't know. I was going to tell you something. Oh, you see, I'm all confused now because because there's problems with Moose and uh, I mean with uh, the 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 communication device here. So that's it, it's it, it's confusing to me whenever that happens. Yeah, I, I always get uh, my my brain goes into a infinite loop of how to solve the problem, <laughs> and I'm not sure what I'm waiting for now. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm waiting for something um, uh, for the moose to show up on the Skype and 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 give me a call. I, I haven't seen anything from her since I suggested we use the Skype. So hopefully she's coming along. I I um I I don't I don't know. I don't know. Um anyway. Be that as it may. <laughs> I'll go on to talk about something else, I suppose. Uh because <laughs> I'm not having luck here con uh, connecting with the moose. We need the moose. Everybody chant, moose, 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 and see if that helps. Everybody chant, come on, come on, chatters, chant, moose, moose, moose. All right, maybe not. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, there we go. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, there we go. There's a good chant uh, going on there in the chat. All right, I I don't know I I assume she's around somewhere doing something. Oh, am I not am I not showing as online? What's going on here? Status active active what? Is this thing not working? I don't I don't even know. I don't even know. Settings yeah no everything looks good there. Uh, yeah no I see people. I see people open. It's open. All right. All right. All right. I, I don't get it. I don't, I'm not sure this is working right either. I'm trying to click act. It doesn't let me, like, change my status. So I'm not sure what's going on. All right. Well, whatever. Um, <laughs> let's just go on to a story, a news story here. Um Well, we'll save those. Okay, let's start with this one because you know I I I, I enjoyed uh, the first two, and it's been a long time. I thought I didn't realize there was a third one even coming, but apparently there's a third one coming. Um, oh, this from InfamousHorrors.com. Yeah, you guys, you guys like horror movies? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. All right, Rob Zombie's Three from Hell is officially finished. That's right. 
Rob Zombie took to Instagram yesterday to let us all know that Three From Hell is complete. Via Instagram, Zombie announced to his fans that he has finished shooting and editing the last installment to his trilogy. Zombie shared several photos of himself directing films in the uh, caption he states, It took a while to complete the trilogy, but we did it. The pick is shooting... Uh, the top, top pick is shooting House of 1,000 Corpses in 2001, uh, The Devil's Rejects in 2004, and finally shooting Three from Hell in 2018. Quite a fucking journey, to say the least. The, the first film, uh, for those of you that didn't see House of 1,000 Corpses, uh, focused on a group of travelers being abducted by the Firefly family. After a run-in at a local gas station with Captain Spaulding, the group gains a morbid curiosity for the legend of Dr. Satan that Spaulding helped create and leads them to their demise in the search of the legend. Mayhem and monsters ensue as the group all meet the, uh, meet the family and are killed in various ways. <laughs> the second film, Devil's Reject, focused on infamous trio Baby, which is the, the chick, the hot chick, uh, Otis and Captain Spaulding, which I believe the hot chick is actually Zombie's wife. Anyway, um, the, the, the uh, film follows the three on the run for their actions in the first film. A sheriff leads the cavalry to take down the family with his own interests in mind, getting revenge on the family for murdering his brother, who was checking into the Firefly family in the first film of Missing Persons. The film ends with the trio on the run coming up to a barricade of law enforcement that opens fire. Watches Baby Otis and Spalding all get hit with a barrage of bullets until the credits begin to roll. Even though Three from Hell is the last film in the trilogy, Zombie is promised as all new experience and all new experience in the final chapter. I can't wait. I, personally, I, 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 I loved both of those films. Um, I, you know, they, <laughs> to me, they were both excellent films. Um, uh, gore, gore, plenty of gore, uh, pl plenty of interesting concepts. There, it was a whole different take on on on, on the horror genre, um, and you know, I I I, I enjoy that kind of film. Now, I don't know where Moose Girls has wandered off to, but uh, um, fake blood? Well, I would think so. It's a movie. I, I actually would I would hope it was fake blood. Um. <laughs> but lots of gore. Uh, lots of... Uh, cra well, not lots of crazy clowns. One really crazy clown. Um yeah, it, just all kinds of... It's stuff that you have not seen in other horror movies. House of a Thousand Corpses, I highly recommend it. Devil's Rejects, also excellent. Uh, you know, that, that that's my view of my opinion, I, I, but I'm, I'm a big fan of the horror genre. So, uh, you know, it's 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 going to be different for everybody. Um, yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, let's do this one. Because it's not important, and it doesn't matter, and, and what? This is the wrong story. This is not the story that I had marked. How could this be the same story? I, I don't know, but that's the wrong story. Let me close that. Let me close that tab. All right. I, horror comedy. Yes, absolutely. Well, most all, almost all, all horror is actually horror comedy. Um I actually, I don't think I've seen a, uh, you know, there's not really any, any kind of horror that you can't really laugh at too much. Is this the one I picked? This is the one I picked. But that story's, oh, that's the wrong story. I don't know how I got that in there. It was like a double story story. I don't, I don't know why. Anyway, I, I had a story about the Walmart hiring all these truckers to make $90,000 a year. If you want to drive for Walmart, ninety grand a year to drive a goddamn truck. So that's that's pretty good. Um, 
All right. I, I don't know where Moose is. I'm, I'm, I'm confused as to what to do because she's not saying anything in the chat. She's not on the Skype, and um, and um, I'll try and call her on the Skype, but but, but I'm not I'm not I'm not seeing her. I'm not see, she she's not showing as being online. And so I it's um I'll try and try try and call. It it looks like it wants to call her, and it's sending out the signal, but. Moose Girl isn't online. Okay. Well, then there's that. Then there's that issue. 90K is common, Rob Work says, about um, driving a truck. I, I did not realize that. I thought they were much lower. I don't know why. But whatever. They are, I guess. Um, <laughs> right. All right. Let's cover this one. Just because I want to. Uh, because, because it's so stupid. But I'm going to cover it anyway for you. Um, on Yahoo News, news.yahoo.com, from the AFP, state of emergency, state of emergency, declared in the United States measles outbreak. Now, I know I've mentioned this here on the show many times in the past before, uh, but I'm going to mention it again because it's measles. Kids are supposed to get measles. Anyway, a state of emergency was declared on Friday in the western U.S. state of Washington following a measles outbreak that has affected more than two dozen people. Two dozen. Two dozen people. It's a state of emergency. <laughs> a majority of them children. Well, that's who gets the measles. It's kids. <laughs> I don't know. The disease was declared eliminated in the U.S. in 2000. Well, I think they might have been a little premature on that. Yeah, uh, because, no, measles was not eliminated, uh, but since has made a comeback. That is tied to imported cases in the rise of the anti-vaxxers. <laughs> You dirty anti-vaxxers. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, uh, measles is a highly contagious infectious disease that can be fatal in small children. It's not. I mean, uh, any a cold can be fatal in small children. <laughs> Anything can be fatal in small children. So, anyway, Washington Governor Jay Inslee said in a statement, the existence of more than 26 confirmed cases in the state of Washington creates an extreme public health risk. No, it doesn't. It's measles. Let the kids get the measles. The outbreak began near Portland, Oregon, because them dirty Oregonians, oh, you filthy people, at the start of the year and quickly spread to nearby Clark County. And, you know, initially I saw this on the, on the Twitter uh, trending. I saw Clark County, and I thought they were talking about Nevada. Um, but apparently there's a Clark County up there in Washington as well, and King County, uh, both in Washington. Uh, health officials have warned that people infected with the disease had visited uh, schools, churches, dentist office, a Costco store, an Ikea store, and the Portland airport. Oh, no! <laughs> the majority of those infected children, many of whom have not been immunized against the disease. <laughs> oh, God. Such propaganda, such lies. Anyway, they added the outbreak could still be in its infancy as the incubation period of the virus is 14 days. Uh, those infected can spread measles to others four days before and four days after the rash appears. Oh, my God! Measles! Now, I, I had measles as a child, and I imagine many of you also had measles as a child. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm just going to have to believe that you did because, well, um, you're, you're not, like, really young, uh, the, the, the average age of the, of the crew here. Um 
It says the highly ca contagious disease can cause severe diarrhea, pneumonia, and vision loss, and ultimately can be fatal. I had a lot of friends. They all had, they they all wound up in uh, with, with with the measles at some point back then, and uh, no nobody nobody died. Nobody went blind. Yeah, they all got over it. The World Health Organization in November warned that measles cases worldwide had jumped more than 30% in 2017. Because you're not taking your vaccines. Why don't you take your vaccines? They, they, they want you to have your vaccines. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, while I bait, wait for Moose to do whatever it is she's apparently doing over there, updating her Skype or something like that, I'm going to play some more music. Because, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Exactly, Rob Works. Fuck your vaccines. We don't need no stinking vaccines. <laughs> and uh, in case you're afraid of death, over the vaccines. Maybe take the words of this song into consideration. Baby, love me apocalyptic. Oh, yeah. Lizzie Hale in Hailstorm there doing apocalyptic. I, I love that song. Uh, yeah, she's uh, asking for it. Anyway, before that, we had uh, For the Moose Girl, Elephant Revival. Uh, covering Jefferson Airplane's White Rabbit at Red Rocks. Yes, indeed. And we kicked it off with uh, Don't Fear the Reaper, a cover of Blue Oyster Cult by Leo Maraccioli. So, all right, Moose Girl has uh, done some configuration and such things like that. Um, uh, Moose, she's asking him Skype or what? I don't know. Um, Skype is on, but let's, let's, let's try the wire and see how... See if that works. Let me give her a call here on the wire. And, and oh, she might have to configure her wire to, to use the USB headset. You know? <laughs> Let's see if she answers. I'm, I'm trying to call her, but maybe she doesn't have her thing on. I, I, I don't know. Um, oh, she's not answering, so I'm going to assume she does not have that on. Let me Let me try and call her on the Skype, see if she's got that on. Uh, of course, that may not be configured for the USB headset either. Let's see here. Let's, let's, let's try and call her on the Skyper. And see how this goes. It's ringing. It's ringing. It's ringing. It's... Oh. Hang that up. I, I, I don't know if that was there. Is she, is she calling me? I, I don't get it. <laughs> All right, Moose, you figure out which way to call me, and you call me. <laughs> oh. oh, i got to type this in, because she probably can't hear me. <laughs> oh, this is comical. Uh, I, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not really sure what, uh, what what's going on here. One way or the other, though, we'll, we'll get this figured out. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, WTC, World Trade Center. What are you, what are you talking about there? Um. <laughs> All right, Moose. You figure it out. You figure it out. Hello, hello, hello. I don't know. I, I, I <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Oh, God. It, it, it's been, it, yeah, it has been. Well, um, I think Grammy did fine. She didn't have any issues as, as far as I know. Um, she seemed to, she seemed to do just fine. Uh, oh, wait, we have, we have, we have, a, we have a call coming. We have a call coming. Oh, wait, she hung up. She started calling and then she hung up. Let me, let me try and call her. Uh, uh, see, how, uh, I, I'm, I, uh, <laughs> let's see if she picks up on this. Wait, is that, is that a pickup? Is that an answer? I, I can't tell. There it is. Okay, now now it's there. Are you there? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Moose? Hello. Hello. All right, 
tonight. I I, I don't know what's going on. Um, I, I, I don't I don't get it. Uh, all right, try try the Skype, I guess. Um, I'm not having it. She's not having it. Oh man. All right, let me let me let me let me let me see if she's on. The, it says Moose Girl is unavailable. Really? Well, let me let me try and call her on this. I, I don't know if she still has the Skype open. We'll we'll, we'll we'll try this here. Um, yeah. It's trying to call her. What a, what a loud noise this Skype makes. <laughs> That would work, yeah. All right, well, she's not answering. All right. Um, <laughs> let's try something else. I know this is fascinating radio, uh, video, whatever. Um, <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> I'm going to try and see if she'll open her team view and I'll log onto her machine and uh, get this stuff figured out. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's not uh, it's something, you know, we need, I need her on the show. And, uh, and uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll try and get this going. Um, I, I <laughs> do it! Do it now! <laughs> Holy guacamole. Oh, boy. Guacamole? Yeah. All right. No, don't keep your clothes on. What are you telling her to keep your clothes on for? All right. Moose Girl has signed in. All right. Although I, I have her as Mossy rather than Moosey on here. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're all having a fun Friday night listening to this uh, uh, wonderful, wonderful show. Um yeah, here on the uh, Freaker's Ball. Connection cannot be established. Really? Let's try again. Um, prompt for confirmation. Wait for Moosey to accept the uh, thingy. And, uh, hey, I'm logged into her machine. Of course, it's going pretty slow. I'm not really sure what's going on here. It's, uh, do 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 Initializing. Come on, Moosey! All right, uh, let's see what we got. I don't, I don't know what's going on. She said everything was going real slow on her computer, so it could be a computer issue that, that is something beyond uh, the uh, the uh, wire or Skype or whatever. Uh, I don't know. It's just sitting there. Okay, there, finally it came up. Of course, everything's already in a white screen, black screen. Um, oh, yeah, look at that, her... Uh, her meter is all pegged out. Uh, well, let's go here for a second. Uh, all right, Moose, uh, just uh, hang hang tight while I try and figure this out. Um, I, I'm getting circles. All right, let's, let's, let's open this task manager. Is it open? I can't tell. All right, there it is. Um, all right, let's go to CPU, and let's see what's going on, what's taking up. Oh, that's, is that the wrong way? Uh, oh, oh, it's just not at the top. That's why. All right, let's do this here. CPU. All right, all right, what do we got going on? Uh, everything should be fine. I don't see anything there. It's burning up a lot of CPU cycles. Everything should be good. All right. Um, where is your wire? There it is. Let's open this here. And see what we got on your settings. Do, 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 Come on now. I clicked it. Click! Click! <laughs> All right. Settings. Audio. Video. All right. Everything is very slow on your machine. I'm not sure what the hell's going on. Uh, microphone. Let's uh, switch this. Come on. Switch. Let me switch. Switch. Quit. Uh, microphone USB. 
speakers, headset, Logitech, USB, is that the right one? That one, communications, microphone, USB, is that the right one? All right. I don't know which one he got. All right. Terrific. Let's see if that works. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> oh, we're getting circles here. Oh, not that circles. All right. All right. Now, now let's see if it tries to call me. And I should get a call here. And I gotta wait for the ding. Bloop, 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 bloop. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello? I'm hearing nothing. Alright, I'm not I'm not hearing anything. Let's go back over to your settings. That you? What's going on? Stuff's moving around on me here. I hear you in the headset, in the headset, good. Terrific. Terrific. Okay. But I'm not hearing you, and I'm not seeing any little things here. So let's pick a different microphone. Uh, this microphone? Let's try that one. Okay, talk. Hello. Hey! Do you hear me? Hello. Do you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yes, do you hear me? Hello? I hear you. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> yes. Are you not hearing me? Let me check. My, let me check my settings here. Uh, I don't think it's me. I'm pretty sure it's you. Uh, yeah. No, it's it's me. Mine's working fine. And the settings. Okay. You hear me in the headset, and I hear you, but you're not responding when I say something. Um, okay. No, everything's good here on my end. Uh, ba da ba doo. Yeah, ba da ba doo. All right. Um, I, well, I don't know why you can't hear me. I can hear you. Okay, so if I say something back to me now. Say something back to me now. Hello? Testing one, two, three. You can hear me. <laughs> God. All right, I, I don't know what's going on here. This is the new USB headset. It should work. All right, let's hang up on this on the, on the wire, and um, and and let's let's do the Skype thing. Let's let's check your Skype settings. Um, we'll, we'll we'll try this. This is yeah, it's comedy. I know. Uh, let, let me let me let me let me let me do your thing here. How come I'm not getting anything? All right, it's not like it's it's like it's not connected. Physical memory, ninety-one percent is used up. Wow, you're out of memory or something. Too many things going on. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you got Firefox and Waterfox open. No need for that, is there? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, yeah, you pick 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 a browser, pick a browser and go with it. What what is this? Welcome to AT and T Net. Not responding. Uh, what, what, what is this? Close that window. Close that window. Close that window. All right, nothing is working. Um, let's close this window too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see if that helps out any on your memory. All right, uh, let's go to your let's go to your Skype here. All right, now let's check your uh, settings here. I don't know even where settings are on this stupid thing. It's been so long since I've used Skype that I don't recall anything. Uh, contacts, notifications. Uh, is, is there anything here? More. More! Give me more! I don't know. All right, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't get it. It says connecting. What does that even mean? <laughs> God. Settings. All right, let's go there. Okay, let's go there. Yeah, everything is really, really slow on your machine. I don't, I don't know what it is. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best here to uh, talk to you, but 
I clicked settings, but nothing came up. All right, oh, wait, there it is. There's your setting page. All right, let's go back to your settings. All right, audio and video. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, microphone, real tech. All right, let's pick the right one here. Um, come on. It's not letting me do anything. That's, it's probably because your computer's running so slow that I can't do anything here. All right, come on. It doesn't let you pick another microphone? Just forget it. Oh, all right. All right, we'll just forget it. You don't have the solution there. There's not enough RAM. All right, well, I just thought maybe something. If it let me pick the, uh, oh, there it is. All right, well, where is it? Where is it? Logitech. All right, talk. Hey, I see you talking. All right, and let's check your uh, your other settings. Let's scroll down here. Speakers. Uh, Logitech. Headset. Okay. That all looks good. I, I see you. Okay, let's close that. Close that. All right. This one, call me. You're moving around. I can't. I can't do anything if you're moving around. Call. Press the button. Call. <laughs> oh, is me? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Wow. Wow. All right, I'm disconnecting from your machine. <laughs> You're really freaking loud, though. I gotta turn you down. Jesus Christ! <laughs> wow, it actually worked. Holy freaking moly! <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm telling you, man, it's uh, crazy stuff. I'm trying to try. Wow, to... what's that now? What's some crazy window on my just popped up? What the heck is that? <laughs> oh, uh, I just minimized the. Oh, good. Okay, that's fine. All right. Let's well, go. how the hell are you? <laughs> Cold? Okay, well, that's Cold. understandable. Yeah. <laughs> oh let's see God. what the freaking temperature is right now. Minus 13. Ah. Uh -huh. I don't have a wizard app. Oh, yeah, I have the best wizard app around. You do? Yep. What do you got? Grimnir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. It's minus thirteen here. That that is cold. That is and cold. And the wind chill is let's see, let's go to the weather actual page. Come on now. Really? It was just crazy, like okay, the thing didn't work. Everything was going to shit. <laughs> yeah, you, well, you know, I'll tell you right now, first off, you don't have enough RAM to open two browsers at once. No, I don't. No, I do not. That, no, that, that, I know. That's uh, certainly... And uh, that's, um, yeah, that's terrible. I mean, I'm going to get a new computer. This is ridiculous. I cannot deal with this any longer. This is this is nuts. It is nuts. You know, having to, re having to go into the the task manager, you know, four times a day... To shut it down and restart it, that's not a good freaking sign. Yeah, no, no, it's not. Okay, so anyway, the wind chill is at minus 13, so it's not windy right now. So the temperature is the same as the wind chill, which is good, but it's still minus 13. And it hurts. It sucks. You don't even look forward. Like, I have to take the dog out all the time, you know? Right. It's like, really? <laughs> <laughs> but the dog's learning. The dog's learning. Like, the last time I just took him out. Well, the, all this stuff was going on. Right. He got out there. He peed like instantly, and then he wanted to come right back in. I'm like, good boy. Uh, <laughs> you know can't, I mean? can't blame him on that one. That's, no. that's for sure. I mean, it's cold, you know, yeah. and, he, and it snowed. So there's like, it's it's minus 13, and you know, you step on it as a dog. You step on it, it kind of melts it a little bit, and then as soon as you lift your paw, it's fr freezing, you know. Sure. 
So poor little thing. <laughs> <laughs> But I heard that dogs do not like things on their feet. Like, they sell these dog boots you can get, but I've heard yeah. that dogs don't like that. No, I'm sure they probably don't. I mean, they probably just, they want to just feel, it, it doesn't feel right to them to not, you know, to have a, something in between their paw and whatever they're standing on. Right. I wouldn't want stuff on, you know, if I was a dog, too. Yeah, I mean, I have to close down a water fox. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is another example of what I go through every single freaking day. Going Okay, well, that time the task manager is actually shut it down, so when I opened up the task manager, it wasn't there. Oh, okay, good. So, um, it actually shut down on its own. <laughs> Not, I didn't have to force it to shut down, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, really weird. I need a new computer. I mean, I've known this for a while, so. Right, yeah. yeah. That's good. But for the one I want, it's like $1,000. <laughs> it's like, oh, great, that's just awesome. No, just I, wonderful. I, it, they're not, they're, they're not cheap. They're not cheap. No, they are not. So. No, he doesn't even lift the leg yet, though. He's still doing the squatting thing. He'll he'll be lifting a leg soon. I need to um, get uh, him in for being uh, neutered. It's got to happen. <laughs> right. Yeah, she could do a clean install or, or just switch over to Linux or... I could. I could do a Linux, switch to Linux, but yeah. then we don't know how good broadcasting. Like, before when I did that on my old machine, when I made that Linux, yeah. when, on Fridays when I had to go do the Freaker's Ball, I'd have to log on to the Windows system, and it was a pain in the freaking ass to have yeah. to switch operating systems, you know? Oh, right. Yeah. It's a pain in the ass. It's like, oh, oh yeah, I have to go back to Windows now. It's like, oh great, you know, because yeah. I love Linux. I really like it. Yeah, well, there's, there's like, no, there's no reason, know. there's no reason anymore to to switch into Windows, unless you're doing some gaming or something. But uh, exactly. Uh, outside, right. outside of that, Linux, you know, anything you want to do, you can run on Linux. Yeah, but the problem with this one, it just doesn't have enough of what I need, and I'm not able to. Ha I've never been successful in setting up dual monitors on this one, and plus, I don't have enough RAM for dual right, monitors. Right? No, you need a new computer. We'll go yeah, I do. I do. I definitely do. You know, it's time. <laughs> right. Why am I going back to Windows? Because my old machine, the Windows died, so I had to go to Linux on that. Yeah. So I was limping along on Linux, couldn't do the broadcast. In order to do the broadcasting, I had to switch back into Windows on that machine. Right. Well, then I got this machine, and not I'm not capable of having dual monitors. I I learned that like the first week I had it. So I was pissed about that, and it's a Windows machine. Right. So that's why I've been using Windows since I got this one. But, like, it wouldn't make sense. I could switch this to Linux and it would work. Sure. But I'd still be in the same predicament with not dual monitors and blah, blah, blah. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, there you go. There you go. I need a new computer. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> she needs a new computer. Don't try and talk her and, out of it. Right. <laughs> you know, so it's it's like... You know, I just I don't want to limp along. I mean, I know I could do some upgrades on this one, but not enough to the point where I would that I want to get to. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's where I'm at. Absolutely. So I will uh, work on that. But um, anyway, at least I have a job. <laughs> at least she has a job, and at least no. we're we're connected. <laughs> uh, at least we're connected and talking. Um, yeah, which is, you know, I'm using this uh, USB headset that I've had for years. It's like brand stinking new. Yeah. Which is awesome because I've barely used it. Right. And it's a good headset. I spent a lot of money on at the time. It wasn't, like, super expensive, but it was, you know. Right. Yeah. It was a nicer one. It wasn't, like, the, the bottom of the line one or whatever. Yeah, I've been I've been looking for a new headset for, for a long time. I've I've looked through 
literally dozens of different ones. And you don't want a USB one, right? I can't. I can't have one, no. Okay. Yeah, that makes it harder. It, it does make it harder. And uh, it wiped out all my bookmarks, too. What the hell? Oh, maybe that's what refreshing meant. Right. I updated. Wait, history. Today. I don't want history, though. I went to bookmarks and brought up history. Okay. Like, what the hell? All right. Well, let's not play with that right now. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I was because I was going to do a story. And I said, whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. Well, um, <laughs> USB spaceships. Yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, let me cover this story, and then we'll play some music. Now that half the show is ruined. No, know. well, it's not ruined. It's just. Uh, it's not terrific, but it's not ruined. <laughs> okay, right, right. if you right. say so. Okay, let me cover this story, and then we'll play some music. Okay. Okay, this from BBC.com, under the USA and Canada selection. I don't know why it's just USA, because this, this should be pretty much global, a global story, but here it is. Mm -hmm. Doomsday clock frozen at two minutes to midnight. <laughs> two minutes to apocalypse. Yes, the new abnormal the world is facing from risks like nuclear war and climate change uh, has, has, has led the symbolic doomsday clock to be frozen at the closest, closest it's ever been to midnight. Uh, the clock created by the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists in 1947 tends to warn of impending disasters. Its 2019 setting was announced yesterday staying in the same perilous position as it was set last year. The BAS has warned, we are normalizing a very dangerous world. Do you got some options? I, I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, if it marks only the third year the clock has been so close to midnight, first reaching this position in 1953, after the U.S. and Soviet Union tested highly destructive hydrogen bombs, why has it stayed the same? On uh, Thursday's announcement, in Washington representatives from the bulletin said the clock's maintained position was bad news indeed. So in uh, 1949 was the Soviet's first nuclear test, uh, and uh, the 1953 U.S. test hydrogen bomb. 1984 U.S.-Soviet relations reached their lowest point. Uh, 2015 climate change. And nuclear concerns. Climate they're really putting climate change in there as a as a, something that's gonna oh, doom of us course. doom us all. Anyway, of course. This is though unchanged from twenty eighteen, this setting should not be taken as a sign of stability, but as a stark warning to leaders and citizens around the world. Um the new abnormal is simply too volatile and too dangerous to accept. Uh, former California Governor Jerry Dickhole Brown, who serves as the BAS Executive Chair, also cautioned, we're playing Russian roulette with humanity. Woohoo! <laughs> in the announcement, um, the bulletins did acknowledge improvements in the U.S.-North Korea relations, but also criticized developments like increased carbon emissions. Seriously? and from some nations, and continued diplomatic schisms around the world. Uh, the group cites nuclear weapons and climate change as the two major ongoing threats. Climate change is not a threat to mankind. I don't know how many times I could say this to you morons. Anyway, and warned that their risks are being exacerbated by the increased use of information warfare. What? The risks <laughs> are being exacerbated by information <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, my God. I don't get it at all. Oh, uh, no, it's not the Ruskies, apparently. No, 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 not, not anymore. It's, uh, it's, uh, nuclear weapons, which nobody's been using for a long time, and climate change, which is not a threat to anybody. So, uh, anyway, there, there you go. It's, um... Doomsday, I'm telling you. Doomsday. <laughs> okay. So, on that note, 
Hey, I'm gonna say I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna talk. Say something. Tell me if you can't hear me. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Try. I don't hear nothing. I don't not hear nothing. All right. So that I know how to mute this now. That's good. Okay. Terrific. Okay. Awesome. Great. All right. So since the uh, doomsday clock is at two minutes to midnight. Yes. Here's Iron Maiden. All right. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there you go. Greta Van Fleet from Saturday Night Live last week there doing their hit song, Black Smoke Rising. And before that, we had Samantha Fish uh, doing a Heartbreaker, the uh, Stone song, on uh, New Year's Eve in St. Louis there. And we kicked it off with Iron Maiden in two minutes to midnight. So, yeah, good stuff. Good rock and roll. If you like good rock and roll, that is, you know, I, 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 I don't know. I like good rock and roll. <laughs> All right, Moose, you there? Uh, oh, I was still flashing. Sorry. Um, flashing. The, the, the light wait, flashes wait, 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 when wait. it's on mute, and it's solid when it's not muted. Oh, okay. It's I, a blue I, light. It's uh, the blue light special headset. I was gonna say, if you're flashing, I didn't see anything. <laughs> no, 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 not, not that kind of flashy. Sorry. Right. Anyway, um, Samantha Fish is the shit. Don't judge her based on that video because that one, the audio quality was kind of subpar. If you get, you see her in a real good quality audio video, you will like her. But but still an ex excellent uh, excellent uh, performance. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, she's she is the shit, man. She like brings gives everything to her performances. She's just like awesome. Nice. And I love her like cigar boxes, guitars, and everything. Oh, like yeah. her homemade guitars. Yeah, no, she has some great guitars. She's got that fish guitar. She's got a nice SG. Uh, yeah. She, she does have the cigar box and the kerosene can. Um, the kerosene can is the shit, dude. I mean, that's freaking awesome. Yeah, oh yeah. You know. That's terrific. So, yeah, um, I don't, there's been some shit going on, but I, you know, we, you know, when you live in Wisconsin, and it's, you know, dangerously cold temperatures, like, that's like the, the pinnacle of what you think about, for the most part, like, how you're gonna fucking survive. Oh. Doing the things you have to do, like, today... When I was on lunch, and I had to call the car dealership to schedule an appointment or whatever, and the guy wanted to know how much mileage was on the car. I'm like, oh, let me run out there and check, you know. So I put the phone down, and I go out there to check. Well, the the door is, the, you go out the back door, and you go into a porch, and then there's another door. Well, that other door doesn't shut right away. It stays open. So I turn around, and there's, there's the dog right there, right? Right. So I'm like, oh, let's go in, Jackson. You know, and granted, it's like two degrees outside at this time. It's not the suit hideously below zero yet, you know. Right. But still, two degrees is fucking cold, right? Goddamn right. Anyway, <laughs> I'm like, let's go in. No, instead of coming in, he takes off. All behind the garage, back in the field. I'm like, oh, fuck. And plus, I'm not dressed for it. I don't have my jacket on. And I'm running out to just check the thing and run back in, right? Sure. So I'm not dressed to go chase a fucking dog, right? Right. And so I have to come in, put my boots on, put my jacket on, all in a hurry. Put I, I pick up the phone. I tell the guy, I'm like, I gotta call you back. My dog just took off, you know. And so luckily Matt was home too. But anyway, I put my stuff on. I go out there fi to find him, and he's out there in the middle of the field, just like crouched down. I'm like, because he was cold. Yeah. I'm like, dude, it's. Too cold out here to be running around. <laughs> sure. So he came right to me. He did not like being in that cold, and so I, I was able to get him right away. But oh my god, that little shit! <laughs> you know, you don't. I didn't think he was gonna follow me out the door. Yeah. Oh my! Oh my god. He but he's been a terrorist. Like tonight, even while I was going through all that technical stuff. Right. I hear this noise in the bathroom, and I go in there, and there was, like, a quarter of a roll of toilet paper left, right? On the roll. Right. He fucking shredded the whole thing. 
And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> it's like having a kid. It is. It's seriously, you know, having a puppy is like having a kid. Right, right. I mean, not at the same level or whatever, but it's like, oh, my God. He's funny as shit. Yeah. Why take your kids where? I just uh, looked at Chad. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know what they're talking about either. Anyway, it's just crazy. And seriously, when it's this cold, you get I get crabby, dude. I do. I get crabby because it sucks so bad. You know, yeah. Hell yeah. it just it hurts to go outside, and it's just like, are you fucking kidding me? You know what I mean? Right. Well, it's luckily, like, uh, you're you know you're inside, and you got heat, and uh, everything's good. Right. Exactly. I mean, how homeless? I don't know how homeless people do it. When it gets this cold, I do not know what they do. You know? Right. And then the other day, someone posted a story about this dog that was missing for like 10 days in like some zero town, so it's just like, and it survived. It's like, well, for the animals, it's a little bit different, but um, it, when it gets this cold, I do not know what the homeless people do. You have to have some kind of heat source, and you have to have a shelter. Like, when the wind chill gets... The reason why the wind chill gets so cold is because there's wind blowing, right? Right. You have to find a shelter where you're out of the wind, and you have a fire. You know, that's the Hopefully. only way to really survive yeah. in this weather outside. I mean, you would be dead. You could literally freeze to death in this weather. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's not it's nothing to mess around with. Like no. when they, like in the when they know it's going to be like we're going to be getting this cold, they're like dangerously cold wind chill, and then they put out like a weather alert and everything. I mean they don't mess around, you know, but you can't, you know. And then like this morning I'm like, or last night I'm like, Matt, they're calling for dangerously cold wind chills overnight, and in the morning, you know, and he's got to go to classes in the morning. I'm like, make sure you got a jacket in your car. He's like, I do. There's one in there. I'm like, good, you know. Yeah. yeah. You know, you're not going to survive freaking in a sweatshirt and tennis shoes. You're just in and, and no hat on your head. And no, you know, I mean, when it gets this cold, you have to protect yourself. Oh, absolutely. Frost, yeah, frostbite can happen in three to four minutes. Or quicker. Yeah, and my I have had, when I was a kid, you know, I wanted to go ice skating. I wanted to get out of the house as much as I could. In the winter, that's what we did in the winter. We went to the park to go ice skating, right? Right. And so I'd, I'd have to walk there and walk home. And by the time I got home, my toes were freaking frostbit, dude. So my toes, once my feet get cold, I'm done. So another suggestion suggestion to be would be if you live in clo a cold climate, buy some freaking nice, good winter boots that are rated like minus 30. Like, my Columbia boots that I've had for, like, four years, they're rated to, like, minus 30. And they're not heavy. They're light. They're, you know, they're pretty light. Sure. They're still winter boots, but them have kept my feet warm for four freaking years. Yeah. Because if my feet get cold when I'm outside, I'm done. I have to go in. I'm like, oh, no. Once my feet get cold, I'm toast. I got to go in. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh, yeah. 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 But, yeah, it's just, it, it sucks, dude. I mean, I know you guys get below zero sometimes, but not like we do up here, not as often. No, no. Yeah, I think, like, last year you had, like, one or two days, maybe, or maybe longer. Yeah, it's not that much. We don't, we don't get below zero all that often. Um, oh, but up here, oh, but, being so close to Kanukistan, you know. Oh, sure. Yeah, you guys are... You're, up there. <laughs> we're, we're almost the Arctic fucking circle, for Christ's sake. Yeah. I mean, come on. You know, I mean, we're closer to the Arctic circle than we are to the equator. <laughs> yeah, fr Frumpy's, Frumpy's being funny there, saying I'm the voice of experience on cold. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, me too, dude. I, well, me I'm and Frumpy so. go I'm head to head when he talks about cold. He's from Kanukistan. I'm from Minnesota and Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, we know about cold. Yeah, we no, know. I'm, I'm definitely not the voice of experience on cold. I grew up in San Diego. Right. Uh, yeah, and it's cold there is 60. Um. <laughs> Let me ask you this, Grim. Do you have a pair of good winter boots? I, I well, I, I have, yeah, well, I don't know if they're winter boots. I got, I got some military boots. Oh, okay, but those aren't winter boots, dude. No, well, those aren't I, I have different ones. I have different ones. I have desert boots from... Okay. From that, and, and I also have the, uh, I guess they're jungle boots, I don't know. 
but uh, they're, they're they're plenty warm. Uh, oh, okay. Well, keep your feet warm. That's the most important thing. Yeah, um, they're you know they're leather. Uh, so, it's the, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. No, I mean. Yeah, I, I used to sell all that military surplus crap. So. Uh, okay. Yep. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I remember that you said that. Yeah. Yeah. So I so I got some stuff. I got I got fatigues and uh, military coats and I got the ones with like, like the big Eskimo coat. <laughs> What's that? Like. Big old insulated like winter. Yeah, ones. yeah, with big fur around it, you know. Oh, and, oh well, I don't have an, I don't have any more of your size. I don't have any left except for the ones that I kept for myself. Oh, well, darn it! I, I might have some fatigues your size. Uh, that's I don't know if you want to walk around looking like a ra- Iraq, camel, Iraq like. war person. I, I would only wear a camel out of necessity. <laughs> <laughs> Like I don't buy like the real tree brand where it has like the sweatshirts that got the, the camel on the shoulders and stuff. Like I'm not a camel girl. Well, I'm not. A, I'm not that big of a hunter, so that makes sense. But up here, camel is big. It, it's a. It's like a fashion statement. Like they have camel boots now and camel boots. Yes. Yep. Camel. Yep. I mean, you can get anything in camel that you want. Well, I, I anyway, usually if I, if if when when I wear shoes, which is rare, um, I usually just wear my tennis shoes. Yeah, like when I'm in the house, I always wear slippers. Though, like my slippers are Crocs that are like have fur lining in them. <laughs> yeah. But I wear them, and um, I just always have to wear shoes, some kind of footwear in the house. Like I do not like going barefoot or with my socks. Right. So I have like outside shoes and inside shoes. <laughs> yes, I'm weird. No, I remember it was like the first year that I moved up here, and 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 um, it was just snow and snow and snow, and then it was like 40 degrees below for a week. Well, it wasn't 40 degrees, but it was 40 degrees below for a couple of days. But then for a week, it was like 20 below. So that that but it, but but that yeah that's a rare thing. It doesn't happen all the time. Like I've been here 15 years and. And I don't, I don't think it's we've repeated that kind hey, of severe coldness. Right. Like, this morning, I seriously was like, I have to fucking move. I mean, it's only for, like, a, maybe a month, four weeks, where it's really brutal cold. Yeah. But four weeks are hell, dude. And then you have to deal with, like, the cold leading up to it. You know, it's like 20, 10. But once you get in that below zero shit, it's nuts. It's like, you're like, what the fuck? What the fuck am I doing here? Right. You, right. you, you, you do have to seriously question your fucking sanity at that point. You're like, why do I keep putting up with this year after year after year? Because you, you really can't stand it. And everyone, but the thing is, is it's, it's everyone's feeling it at the same time. Yeah. So you're like, you're not alone. Like, everyone knows you know, and it's like the big, to- it's it's the main topic. When it gets to be below zero, that is the main deal, you know. Because mm-hmm. it's, it's a life-threatening thing. It's it's a real thing. You can actually die, you know. Right, right. You can stand in your car. In, in the middle of, in a rural area, in the middle of nowhere, you have no cell phone service or something. You don't know who, you know, you can fucking seriously perish in your fucking car. By freezing to death. Right, absolutely. It, it's nothing to mess around with. And so that's why it is, people say, oh, it's the weather, it's no big deal. Um, yes, when it's below zero, it's a big fucking deal. Dude. It's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, it's just like if there's a tornado warning or if there, you know what I mean? It's, it's yeah. it, You know what I mean? Yeah. You have to really, you know, Think about what you're doing. If you're going to be traveling a long distance and be in a rural area, area and it's below zero, you better have fucking supplies in your car that if you fuck your car breaks down or you go off the road or get in an accident, that you're going to be able to like keep warm for a few, like a day. Hey, let me ask you: Is your um, is your microphone hitting against something or maybe? Because I'm hearing it. Hear... Oh. Okay, I think it was the cord gun. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll move it. Is it better? Well, I, it, it, it's, it was... Like, I, no, it's, like, kind of creaky. Like, this, I haven't used this one for a while, so... All right. Well, whatever. Sorry I, about that. I was just saying I, I was, uh, yeah, hearing it, so... I'll try to, like, move it so it doesn't... Okay. All right. 
<laughs> anyway, uh, no, it's life. It can be life threatening. You, you, <laughs> Absolutely, you, you can definitely die real quick from the cold. Right. But so it's the main topic of conversation, you know. I understand. <laughs> it was totally steady at minus thirteen. Well, let me refresh. It might be lower. I don't know. It's supposed to be like brutal all weekend. Right, right. So I question my sanity, and I'm like, why well, don't you know? I I seriously this morning, I'm like, you have to move. I told myself, I'm like, you have to fucking move. <laughs> yeah, but you were thinking of moving to like Vermont, which is no better. Vermont, no, Oregon. Oregon would be better. Oh, okay, Oregon Vermont. would be better. Yeah, yeah, because they have milder winters there. They still have winter, but yeah, it's oh, not yeah. like as brutal. You no, know what I mean? No, like but, but when do... you get to minus twenty wind chill, that's brutal, people. You know. <laughs> right, and if you go right to the coast, you're you're probably all right. Right, exactly. It's like. <laughs> it's beautiful, like the infamous string dancers are playing in Portland again for the second night tonight, and they've been like they played in Ashland and they played in Bend, and they played in I think another place in Oregon. But um, Oregon is freaking beautiful, dude. I looked up Ashland, Oregon. I'm like, oh my god, I want to. I'll move. I could live there. Oh yeah, you know, Oregon, I, Oregon I looked great. it up. It's like beautiful. It's like Oregon's awesome. Don't if you if you've never been there, you shouldn't fucking. Not as cold as Wisconsin or Minnesota. It is cold there, but not as bad as... The winters aren't as bad as they are in freaking um, Minnesota and Wisconsin. Yeah. It gets brutal. I mean, but I talked to some guy in uh, Tennessee or Kentucky today. Mm -hmm. No, he was on the Indiana-Kentucky border, and he said it was 9 degrees there okay. this morning. So that's pretty freaking cold. That's, that's, that's plenty. That's plenty cold, no doubt about it. So even you have to go really way south to get the warmer temps. But even Florida, Kate said the other day, I think it was going to be forty there. Yeah, that's cold. Like I talked to someone in South Carolina the other day in Myrtle Beach. They said it was forty. That's cold for South Carolina. That's cold for the South. We could all use some global warming. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't call it global warming. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> we could all use some global warming. Um, it, it, <laughs> anyway, oh, yeah, my God. It, anyway, so um, just stay warm and, and you'll be all right. Okay, I'll be fine. I mean, yeah. knock on wood, my furnace works, so thankfully, you know. Yeah. Right. I thought, but it, it's cases like this where it, it, if the furnace were to die, let's say. Yeah. It, it, in, this, in this brutal cold, your house cools off really fast. Oh, yes, it does. You know, and so you would have to, like, go to a friend's house or stay at a hotel. Because you would not be able to stay in your house. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't you have a fireplace? I do, but right. it needs to be cleaned. I need to hire someone to clean it. It right. hasn't been used for, like, five a, lo a while, a long time. You can use one of those, what do you call those logs? Oh, no. no. We, we I did that when we first moved in, but at this point it would need a professional clean in order for me to feel safe to use it. You know what I mean? Right, right. I'm not gonna trust no fucking pre assault log. Just like, no, right, no, well, not sure we haven't used it for so long. Well, you get know, it, get it get it done over the summer. I could, yeah, I will. Right. Yeah, I need to. Right. And then if the heat were to go out, that would be the backup there. You know? Yeah, yeah. You gotta have wood, but. I live in Wisconsin. There's fucking shit ton of wood right. in this town Absolutely. alone. So. Absolutely. Like, I got a field back there that's got all these falling down trees. I mean, shit, I got a fucking, like, two years worth of wood back in that field back there. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not mine, but fuck it, you know? It's nobody's, right? It's just there. No, it's fucking dead trees that fell down. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. All right, let's cover this story here. Right. And the reason this story first caught my eye was the fact that it was NVIDIA. Because as far as I knew, all that NVIDIA did was, was was make graphics cards for computers. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. NVIDIA's kitchen manipulator robot uses AI to cook meals. Okay, so they're doing AI. Anyway, it says uh, NVIDIA research is using artificial intelligence... Uh, to enable breakthroughs in robotics that solve real-world problems in the kitchen. The new NVIDIA AI Robotics Research Lab in Seattle 
has recently debuted its kitchen manipulator robot that uses AI to identify ingredients and complete cooking tasks. Now I'm going to read this next sentence here for you, just as it's written, and plain with, with no emphasis of any kind. And you tell me what's wrong with this sentence. Okay. The goal of the lab is to develop the next generation of robots that can one day cook meals from humans. What? Uh, what? I think they meant for, <laughs> not from. I think they did, too. Oh, my but God. It, well, what a typo. It sounds to me like these robots are going to start cooking up their human owners. <laughs> cook meals from humans. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. What a freaking typo. <laughs> Okay, here's a good one. Oh, God. It's a meme. I'm posting it right now. All right. NVIDIA. And it's, uh, oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Read your, read your thing. If Trump really wanted to see Hillary, Hillary arrested, he should have just hired her for his campaign. Ah, good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, you know, it's kind of, it's, you know. Whatever. Anyway, go on. Sorry. Anyway, yeah, it goes on. It says, NVIDIA's kitchen robot is one of several other robots in development at the semiconductor firm. Uh, collaborative robotics, we might even call it, the holy grail of robotics right now. Uh, Nathan Rat Ratliff, I guess that's his name, uh, a distinguished researcher at N N NVIDIA, explained this is one of the most challenging environments to get robots to operate around people and do helpful things in unstructured environments. The kitchen manipulator uses AI to monitor surroundings. It can detect and track objects, as well as remember where the doors and drawers are in the kitchen. Hmm. Um, the kitchen manipulator. I just yeah. don't like that term for it. Manipulator. That just... Really? <laughs> yeah. Does what that, else does it manipulate? Uh, after, after the robot scans its surroundings, that data is used to generate continuous perceptual feedback of where they are if they moved. Uh, the information enables the robot to make real-time, fast, reactive, adaptive, and human-like motion. The goal for the robot is to effectively wash dirty dishes, retrieve ingredients, and cook alongside humans. <laughs> <laughs> Since the robots could also play a role in factories, hospitals, and helping people with disabilities. However, for now, it seems NVIDIA Research has their eyes on disrupting the kitchen, more specifically the installation and implementation of robot chefs that will undoubtedly disrupt service industry jobs. Uh, yeah. So, so the main thing to me was the fact that these robots want to cook you. Um, Right, it's they, like they, Rosie though from the Jetsons. They want to make. That's what they want you to think. It's they, like Rosie from the Jetsons. They want to make meals out of you. Because <laughs> it says it right there, from humans. Yes, they're making cooking meals from Great. humans. Great. <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't want to go there, Grim. My stomach just flipped. I, I, I can't even. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> it rains a hundred days a year in Oregon. That's all right. Uh, well, sometimes, if if you're lucky. Right, and that's all right. I can handle some rain. All right, so si since we're on robots and robots doing horrible things to humans, <laughs> um, let's just cover this little one. This little one, all uh, right. Are you familiar with Davos? Yes. Okay, well, this is what they got over there now. A robot is serving coffee at Davos to show people what's in store for the future. Really? <laughs> yes. So you have all these global leaders over there warming up to robots. Yes. It says, hi, I would like a robot coffee. A female participant at the World Economic Forum in Davos says, as uh, she arrives at the garden lounge in the main Congress Center, it's a coffee space decorated with white and light-colored furnishings, like who cares, uh, where people gather the, the, between this year's events. Next to the main coffee counter, there's a highly visible robot called Yummy, or uh, Y-U-M-I, Yummy, I guess. Um, Benoit Gerber, a local product manager at the Swiss-Swedish multinational ABB, what's that, the Almond Brothers Band? I don't know. Uh, 
Uh, told, <laughs> told CNBC the robot is four years old and making an appearance at WEF for the first time. Uh, Yumi is used in different sectors with its precision uh, in arm mobility, Gerber said, mentioning that the robot is used to make mobile phones, watches, and work with glass. It's used to demonstrate uh, as a demonstration model to show people uh, for robotic technology to, and achieve. I, mean, I don't need to read all that crap. The, the important thing is here is you have these global decision makers there at Davos yep. being shown that, yeah, you don't need humans anymore. Robots can do it. Exactly. We, we, we humans are passe. They're, they're, they're a thing of the past. Yep. Uh, so, you, basically, you, yeah. <laughs> you just make sure you find a good way to eliminate the humans in, in your country. Um, <laughs> However you see fit. Right. And, 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 and we'll get, you know, make sure you got the robots you need to do whatever the humans were doing before. And, and, right. the, and the robots won't complain. They won't take days off. They won't take vacations. They won't ask for raises, fifteen dollars an hour, nothing like that. Exactly. <laughs> right. So. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Well, I gotta take my dog out. All so. right. I'll play some more. Well, well, this first song is for you. Well, I can move it. Awesome. Well, right, I'll okay. Move, I'll Whatever. Move, I'll move it to the second song. All right. All right. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Bye. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Woo. Did you mute that thing? Did you mute that thing? All right. <laughs> this is a Hansel request. Party! Let me tell you, party! <laughs> Whiskey in the jar. Uh, Metallica covering that tune there for you. Uh, right here on the Freakers Ball. Uh, before that, we had an excellent version of Sometimes I Feel Like a Motherless Child. Uh, Prince featuring Larry Graham. And uh, Gooberzilla pointed out during the uh, uh, playing there of Whiskey in the Jar. It's an old song. Roger Whitaker did it sometime, I don't know, when back in the 40s or 50s. But uh, that, that song, Sometimes I Feel Like a Motherless Child, and I had to look it up. Uh, but apparently it's an old uh, Negro spiritual, um, and uh, they, they don't really have a, uh, a person that wrote it, but um, it was uh, back to the 1870s on that particular song. But uh, let me tell you, uh, Prince brought that into the modern era. Uh, and then we kicked it off with R.E.M. doing uh, Losing My Religion. So, uh, all, all good stuff there, man. All good stuff. <laughs> Are you flashing, Moose? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> moose, Moose, Moose. Check it, check it, check. Moose girl, Moose girl. Did she walk it, wander off? Hello. Oh, there she is. Okay. I'm here. Whoops, I'm going to meet the player. Okay, there we go. Whoops. Am I mute? Flashing again? No. <laughs> you can hear me, can't you? Yeah, no, I do down. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, good yeah. set, for sure. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> so I was thinking, oh, I was thinking of a different song. I was thinking of a different band. For what? That company. For what? They have a song that has something about the boys being back in town, but not the one that you guys are talking about. But there is a, one of their songs is that's why I got thrown off from that. Ah. I just had to look it up. I'm like, I see. The boys are back in town. That I I know the song you're talking about, but then there's also a song that they do that is similar. Like okay. the, the the name of it is similar, not that the songs are similar, but. All right. All right. Anyway, I'll figure it out. No biggie. Good, good, cool, cool. Uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> oh boy. So what else is new? Um. Well, uh, just give me a moment here, and I'll find. Uh, yeah. I'll 
I'll find I'll find some other stuff here. I, I gotta I gotta count first. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Seven is twelve, and four is uh, sixteen. Okay. Um. Oh, what else is new? All right, let me let me look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, the, the 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 Jamie Kloss thing. Let's cover a couple things about her. Okay. I, I got a couple stories about her. Um, Jamie Kloss. She's she's still in the news. Uh, apparently, from uh, NBC News, how much more clap could you get? Right. I don't know, but apparently uh, they're they're thinking that she's going to wind up with the reward money because she rescued herself. Well, yeah, she should. So twenty five k for Jamie Claus uh, says uh, the, the turkey product company Jenny O says it will donate the twenty five thousand dollars that it offered for reward money for information leading to Jamie Kloss directly to the 13-year-old girl. Uh, Jamie was kidnapped from her home in Barron, Wisconsin on October 15th, and both of her parents were killed. She escaped 88 days later. 21-year-old Jake Patterson is charged with the kidnapping and homicide. Um, yes. So, I mean, I don't know what else you could really say about that. It says the FBI and Jenny O contributed a total of 50 k uh, for information on Jamie's whereabouts, Jenny O and its parents company, Hormel, uh, announced Thursday they're working with the law enforcement to get Jenny O's uh, Good. share of the money to Jamie. Uh, um, it's not clear what the FBI will do with their $25,000. That they offered up? Yeah. They, they're, they're, They'll probably keep that. I don't think they're going to be giving that to her. Probably not, right. And you know what? They should, but... Right, but they're scum. Yeah. yeah, they're not going to. And then, and then, uh, if they do, I would be surprised. I mean, uh, I hope that they would, but I don't think that's going to happen. I just don't see that happening. But um, an update on that at this time. Uh, this is from today, January 25th, 2019. In Douglas County, Wisconsin, the Douglas County District Attorney's Office does not anticipate filing a criminal complaint against Jake Patterson in the immediate future, who's the guy that kidnapped her and killed the parents. Um, and we all thought, everyone thought that that would happen because he must not have assaulted her. Because that's not in the no, criminal wait, wait, wait. complaint, and tell, tell I, me, I, I don't think he actually did. Tell me that part again. I'm sorry, go what, ahead. What, what, oh, what, hang on. what was the deal? What was that? What? Okay, she was kidnapped, and this, the homicide, the kidnapping happened in a different county. In Barron County. Okay. So well, then he took her from there to Douglas County, which is where she was found in Gordon in Douglas County. All right. And we all thought there was going to be charges filed because why would he take her if he wasn't going to do something with her, right? right. Well, he held her hostage, but he must not have assaulted her in any way because it's not saying that. And he's not being charged with any assault. So now I'm kind of, I don't know, this is a weird kind of twist, because I, why would you take a 13-year-old girl, being a 21-year-old dude, you know, I mean, it's a good thing if she wasn't assaulted. I'm not saying I wish she would have been, you know, that's not what I mean. <laughs> yeah. I'm meaning, right, right. we all thought that there would be charges filed because of what he may or may have not have done to her while in Douglas County, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And okay. so it's just they did release a statement today that they are not anticipating filing filing any charges in that county. Okay, you got you got a link for that? Yes. Hang okay. On. And I, I have this other story that I came across today from Barron, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. It says the man accused of abducting 13-year-old Jamie Kloss and killing her parents is due back in court um, on February 6th. Uh, and and th this one's talking about whether or not they're going to file additional charges against him there. Oh, okay. Maybe in Barron County he did something to her then. Right, and, that, and that's possible. Uh, but right. it says uh, Jake Patterson, 21, of Gordon County, faces two counts, first-degree homicide, armed burglary, and kidnapping is being held in Polk County uh, jail on $5 million cash bail. But it doesn't... in Polk County jail. Being held in Polk County Jail, yeah. That's weird. On $5 million cash bail. Um, it well, happened in Barron County. Yeah, but they caught him there, so. No, they caught him in Douglas County. 
Okay, so then why they why is he in Polka? I don't know, whatever. I guess it's Polk okay. County because okay. they're okay. trying to protect him. If they are something, right. who knows well, why well, they moved him there. Well, here's the next bit. Uh, the question right. of whether additional charges will be filed in Douglas County, where Kloss was believed to have been held captive for 88 days, remains open. Um, this Mark, District Attorney Mark Frauhoff said this week the case is still under review and declined to give any specifics about the investigation. Uh, so, what can what considerations might come into the decision? Uh, the assistant professor of law, Cecily Klingel, uh, at UW Madison, uh, said the prosecutor's chief concern is making sure defendant is held responsible for his or her actions. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Anyway, they're considering other charges. Uh, they're not sure whether they're going to file them or if they're uh, going to huh. fi file them later or. Or what, whatever the possible deal is there. Um, so um, there, there's uh, there's that on that. Did you have this other story? So um, I don't know. Both those stories came out today. So. Right. I, I just, I, I just, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. It's not over yet. You know what I mean? It's still like working. They're still working through it. You know, there's always going to probably be a trial. Oh, sure. He's, he's, like you said, he's going to be he's, he's expected in court on February 6th. So. Right, so he's probably going to plead not guilty because then that will go to trial and then they can do plea deals and stuff. Because if, if you admit, well, he's already confessed to it, though, so I don't think it might not go to trial. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how, you know what I mean? A anything's possible, yeah. I, I right, know. it's still, like, working out, but I'm glad she's found. I mean... I think she was taken against her will. I think he did target her, and he didn't even know their names until after he saw it on the news. So I think it was she was not involved in it at all. Yeah. It's it's just a fucked up thing. It's just a messed up oh, deal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But she did save herself. I mean, he actually had people at his house on Christmas. And she was in his bedroom, and he turned up the radio so if she made a sound, they wouldn't hear it. Right. But and then he only had her barricaded under a bed that was, like, against a wall. Then he put, like, totes, you know, those plastic totes weighted down, and he put, like, barbells or something. That's not enough to restrain somebody. Uh, really he was not. pretty fucking stupid. And then two weeks after it happened, he thought he was, like, he got away with it. So the guy is not right in the freaking head. No, obviously. obviously. <laughs> you know, I mean, he's well, not right in the fucking head. Well, especially, and, I mean, he, he admitted to killing the, the parents, right? Right. Okay, well, obviously he's not right in the head. <laughs> he would just burst into somebody's house and, and shoot a couple people and then steal, right. well, steal yeah. his daughter. And, yeah, so, right. Yeah, and why would he get a deal? He's already admitted to it. What, what, what's, what's right, he it? has, yeah. It, what, I don't what, think it will go to trial because he already confessed. I what, mean, what, what he's already, obviously busted. Yeah. He's not getting out of it, you know. Right. So, yeah. All right, well, on a different topic. Um, yeah. Do we have anybody here, and I know we do, Vinny, um, that uses Google Chrome? Um, I have to take the dog out. All right. All right, I'll talk about sorry, that. Sorry, I have to put you on mute again. That's he right. just ring the bell, and I have to do it. Okay. So, okay, yeah, sorry. Well, if you're using Google Chrome and you're using... Well, no, maybe not. I think he's all right. All right, all right. Okay. Okay, okay. well, if, if you're using Google Chrome and you're using Adblock or other ad blockers other than Adblock, you're screwed because uh, as the register.co.uk says... Wow, fancy that. Web ad giant Google to block ad blockers in Chrome. For, really? For, for safety, apparently. Oh, for, oh yeah, <laughs> bullshit. It says, it says, how many ad blocks could an ad slinger block if an ad slinger could block blocks? Right. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, Google engineers have proposed changes to the open source Chromium browser, which is... Uh, I, I have on my uh, Linux machine, but um, not on not on the Windows. Uh, that will break the content blocking extensions, including ad blockers. If the overhaul goes ahead, AdBlock Plus 
and similar plugins that rely on basic filtering will, with some tweaks, still be able to function to some degree. Unlike the more ambitious extensions such as uBlock Origin, uh, which will be harder hit, the drafted changes will limit the capabilities available to the extension developers, ostensibly for the sake of speed and safety. <laughs> yes, they're going to uh, l let those ads through for your safety. Uh, <laughs> Chromium forms the central core of Google Chrome, and soon Microsoft Edge. In a note posted Tuesday on the Chromium bug tracker, Raymond Hill, the developer behind uBlock Origin and uMatrix, said the changes uh, contemplated by the Manifest V3 proposal will ruin his ad and content blocking extensions and take the, uh, control of content away from users. Uh, content blockers may be used to hide or block, uh, uh, block black hole ads, hide, hide or black hole ads. It's a tough thing to say. But they have uh, broader applications. They're predicated on the notion that users, rather than anyone else, should be able to control how their browser presents and interacts with remote resources. Anyway, it goes on quite a way, uh, getting into the technical details and all that. But uh, just bear in mind, if you're a Google u Google Chrome user or a Microsoft Edge user, uh, I would say you've been screwed all along, but um, you're, you're definitely screwed now. <laughs> What's Microsoft Edge? Is that a new thing? Yeah, it's for on Windows 10. It, oh, it, okay. It, it replaced it. I replaced IE. Oh, okay. The Internet Explorer thing. Oh, I see. All right. All right. Anyway, we're out of time. I got. I got to play the last set here. Yeah, let's do that. And uh, and and uh, we'll, we'll be back after this, folks. And yep. Enjoy and uh, sing along if you know the words to this uh, this first little bit here. Cool. Some of you do. Some of you do. And if you don't, <laughs> you'll learn them quickly. All right. Black Betty, indeed, by Ram Jam there, back in 1977. That's our standard closer. Uh, before that, we had uh, Samantha Fish doing R.L. Burnside, Shake em On Down, again from that New Year's Eve concert uh, on her cigar box. And we uh, had before that, a, I don't believe Hansel requested the Ramones uh, from It's Alive, Blitz Creek Bop. Hey ho, let's go! And we kicked it off with the Boosco request, John LeJoy, doing high as fuck. Have you ever been? <laughs> yeah, I know you have. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, the, you know, we had a little rough start there getting the show going, but uh, it wound up doing all right uh, once we got the little technical issues ironed out. So uh, hopefully uh, we won't have that next next time around, but uh, it's been great. Now tomorrow you got the uh, dark table at noon Eastern with the Flash somebody. Uh, tune in for that great show. Uh, and Sunday I'll be on at noon Eastern with the Blues right here. Yeah, uh, sorry, I'm here. Uh, I'm all right, all right. I'm just I'm just wrapping doing the uh, the, okay, the, the cool. rundown. Uh, on Sunday I'll be on with the Blues on RLM Radio right here in the chat trivia in the chat. Followed up by Hal Anthony at 3 p.m. Eastern. Behind the woodshed, open up the big old can of whoop ass. And then on Monday evening at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, I'll be on doing my show, Grim Leftovers. Yes, indeed. And on uh, Tuesday, again, the Flash once again, uh, in a perfect world. Yes, if, the only, yes. if only there were... And then on Wednesday... Right, if only there was one. Yeah, Wednesday night is Grammy, Grammy's Rocket Chair, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Thursday night is, uh, well, Thursday afternoon, evening, whatever, is uh, Flash once again, 20% off at 6 p.m. Eastern. And then we're back to Friday again, where you got Vinny in the morning, uh, Grammy in the evening, and us at night. So, what the hell, RLM Radio, man, be rocking. And, uh, yeah, we're rocking, man. That, Everyone have a good weekend. And Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget the uh, fundraiser starts next next week. But uh, like yeah. I said, if anybody wants to donate ahead of time, feel free. <laughs> right. Yeah. So uh, that's uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, thank you, thank you everybody for tuning in. Yeah. Love you all. Thanks all. Love you. Peace.
peace.